Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow were dark story, to the former day belong. All the round the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. Oh, what glory far exceeding all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. Life eternal, heaven rejoices, Jesus lives who once was dead. Shout with joy, O oh, deathless voices, child of God, lift up your head. Patriarchs from distant ages, saints all longing for their heaven. Prophets, psalmists, seers, and sages, all await the glory given. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Thursday as we celebrate the feast of St. Matthew, an apostle and an evangelist. These were, he was one of the witnesses to Jesus, one of the twelve chosen to go forth into the world. Matthew was called by name in the same way that you and I are called by name. Let us today recall the day when Jesus called us to bear witness to him. Let us also remember the times that we have sinned and let us ask for forgiveness. Let us pray. O God, who, through, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession we may merit to hold firm in following you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received with humility and gentleness with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to persevere the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is for over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for the building up the body of Christ, until we all obtain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the extent of the full statue of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out throughout all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. No word, no discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praises you. 
according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I came not to call, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the call of Matthew, I believe, is good news for you and I. Because Matthew was a tax collector. And in the eyes of the religious leaders of the time, he was a sinner, a public sinner. Because he was a Jewish man who was collecting taxes for an occupying government, an occupying force. And not only that, but there was that strong belief, probably true, that the tax collector took more than they turned in to the Roman government. And so really became rich upon the backs of their country. So they were not considered nice people and that most of the Jewish people would have nothing to do with them. And what does Jesus do? Jesus just comes up to him and says, come, follow me. And Matthew, in this immediate response, says yes. And of course, he's having dinner now with Jesus and Matthew as friends. And of course, they probably weren't the best of people according to the eyes of the religious leaders. And they start grumbling. Why does he do that with these people? And what does Jesus say? I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Is that good news for you? It's good news for me. Because that way Jesus knows I'm not perfect. And yet he can still call us and use us as his instrument to bring about the kingdom of heaven. We heard in our first reading from the Ephesians of how Jesus gave the gift of the church. He said he gave some as apostles, others prophets, others evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for works of ministry. We're not all the same. We all have a different role to play. And it's good that Jesus calls us, us who are sinners, for he came not to call the righteous, but the sinners. St. Matthew was called. His response was immediate. He followed Jesus. He was thought to have preached in the East. His gospel is written in Aramaic. There were a few languages back in Jesus' time, and it is assumed that Jesus spoke Aramaic and Greek. But Matthew was also very well versed in the Jewish traditions, which gives us the clue that he was a good practice, he was a Jewish person. Because throughout his gospel, there are details in there that only a person who followed the faith would know. And so today we give thanks for Matthew, for his call, for his response. May we have the courage to be evangelists, or simply to bear witness to our Savior. Let us present our petitions to God, mindful of the many blessings he has bestowed upon us. For the Holy Father, may God preserve his health and empower him in leading the people with joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For leaders of peoples and nations, may God guide them in serving their people as Christ came to serve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that we be a people dedicated to human life from the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who suffer trials of any kind. May Jesus sustain them and grant them hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit enable us in recognizing our gifts and willingly serve the family of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed. We pray for those who suffer from any type of addiction or mental illness, for their healing, their comfort, their peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, as they follow him in life, may Jesus lead them to his Father in glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now unite our prayers into one. We lift them up to our Heavenly Father, praying as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and eternal God, all power in heaven and on earth is yours. Please hear and answer our prayers in your wisdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Life eternal, oh, what wonders crowd on faith, what joy unknown. When amid earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before the throne. Oh, to enter that growing portal, see that glowing firmament. Know with you, O oh God immortal, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent.